Translating words to algebra to solve a problem. Okay, so in the other ones we were just setting up expressions. We never actually went about solving anything. In this example, they've given us a word problem to work with. So we're going to work on setting the question up with the information that's been given. Okay, so this is our second example. It says Ian owns a small airplane. He pays $50 an hour for flying time and $300 a month for hangar fees at the local airport. If Ian rented the same type of airplane, it would cost him $100 an hour. How many hours a month would Ian have to fly in order for the renting cost to be the same as owning his own plane? Whenever you do a word problem, go over it twice. So I've read it once. I have the gist of the information. What I'm going to do next is go and find important points. Okay? So... He pays $50 an hour. So Ian owns a small plane. He pays $50 an hour for flying time. Okay. And $300 a month for hangar fees. We got that part. That's for the plane he owns. Okay. So let's, we'll do yellow with the stuff he owns. And let's try green. Uh, if Ian rented. So these are the costs for renting. The same type of airplane. It would cost him $100 an hour. Okay. No fixed fee. How many hours a month would Ian have to fly in order for the renting costs to be the same? So the costs, they want them to be the same, okay? This is essentially our important parts of information here. So we're going to set up an expression for when Ian owns a plane, okay? Uh, we'll do that one. I don't think yellow turns up so well, so we'll do it in this color here, okay? For owning a plane, let's figure out how much it costs. So we're going to say his cost. We'll put variable C as cost. C is equal to his cost. And usually we call this a let statement. So let C equal his cost. Okay? So we know that Ian's cost for owning a plane is equal to $50 an hour. Okay? So we have 50. And we'll call hours. I guess we can call them H in this case. We'll say and let H equal our hours. Okay? If you're more comfortable using X and Y, especially because you might want to graph things eventually, that's fine. But any letter works because they're just working with variables. So his cost is the $50 an hour, so 50 times H, and then $300 a month for hangar fees. Okay? So we're going to write it down as M is equal to months, but then we're going to come revisit that at the end. Okay? So plus $300 a month. Okay? The other one is if he rented, let's do that one in green, let's say. His cost is equal to, it's not really a great color, uh, $100 an hour. He has no other fixed cost. Now, here's important. We didn't specify it as being important before. Okay? But now that we notice that in the first question, we have two variables. We have hours and monthly costs. And in the second expression, we only have hours. Okay, let's go back to the thing. It said, how many hours a month? So we know how many months is this referring to? Just one month. Okay, so we're going to be able to take that one month and plug it in for the M right away. So because our M is one month, in the first expression, we're going to replace that variable with the number one. We know that we're only referring to one month at a time. So this M here is going to be replaced with the number one. So we're going to rewrite that expression now. It's going to say C is equal to $50 an hour plus a one-time fee, because this is only for one month, of $300. Okay, so these are our two expressions, the one we have in black and the one we have in green. What we need to find is the point where they break even, or also known as what if we're drawing lines. Anyone know? Intersection. We need to figure out where these two are going to intersect each other. Uh, up to this point, we've only done graphing, so we're going to solve this using graphing. We haven't done substitution or elimination yet. So we're going to bring up our graph here. And we'll zoom in a little. This is getting a little tough to see. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm just going to change this since this, it deals with hundreds. Well, it's $100 an hour. I'm going to make this into the thousands. We're going to multiply each of these by 100, okay? Uh, and then our hours are hopefully the same. Yeah, our hours would be the same, okay? And this would be minus 200, okay? So what's important here is we got to talk about y equals mx plus b when we go to graph this stuff. 
So in this equation, we have fixed and variable costs. In the first equation, what is our fixed cost? Anyone know? 300. That's our fixed cost. Our fixed cost also relates, and let's put up y equals mx plus b. Fixed cost relates to what? Does it relate to slope or does it relate to y-intercept? Y-intercept. Very good. Okay. So, so our fixed cost is 300. That relates to y-intercept. What is our fixed cost in our second expression? Anyone know? Anybody else? Zero. zero. Okay. Even though there's no number there, we go on the assumption that our fixed cost is zero. So if I were to not fly a plane, it would cost me no money. Okay, so that would be our fixed cost in the other one, which then brings us to our variable cost or our slope. What is our slope? Let's do that one in orange, let's say. What is our slope or variable cost in the first one? 50. And in the second one? 100. Good. And we know we can make those fractions. What would they look like as fractions? 50 over what? 1. And 100 over 1. Good. So let's go to plot these two. Our very first point starts at 300. So we're over here. And then what happens is it goes up by 50. Okay? Goes up 50 over 1. So that's a small amount here. Up 50, so that would be 100, over 2. So here's our next point. Technically, that would be in between. Okay? Up 50 over 1. Up 50 over 1. So if you guys notice this pattern, in terms of the squares, it looks like I'm going up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. I'm going to continue that pattern across here, okay? And then I'm just going to replace this with a nice line to make this a little easier. It's about right. Yeah. Okay? So that is for our first expression. Our second expression, what's the y-intercept? Zero. Zero, that's right. So it starts down here. Oh, I want a pen. Good. Okay? It starts down there. And it goes up 100 and over 1. Up 100, over 1. Up and over. So we're going to continue this until we find the point where they hit each other. Okay? So let's put another line. What looks like our point of intersection in this question? On 606. Okay, so at 6 hours, how much will it cost him? 600, okay. So let's make more information out of this. Let's get, uh, this is our hours and this was our cost, okay. If it was six hours, what if you flew less than six hours, which plan is better? To rent or to own? Is the rent, yeah. Then the rent, that's right. Our blue line, because it's below the red line before six, it makes more sense to rent the plane. If he flies more than six hours in a month, which one makes more sense? To buy it. To buy the plane. Very good. Okay. Let's look at this. Time. 